So you're starting with your three. Today we're going to skip our keyboarding because um, what I heard from you last time is you need time to get those books done. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make that last page that has your Wax Museum character on it. And we're actually creating that page in Google Slides and then you will import it into your book. So I'll show you how to do those things today. Um, if your book is done today, I will go ahead and um, assess it and get it printed out for you. Um, if it's not, next week is the deadline. All right. So we'll talk more about next week. We'll see how many people still need to finish. So for um, what you see right now is your rubric. This is how I'm going to assess your book. You've already been told all these things that you need. I've been helping you along the way. Get the pages in. Your cover with a title and image, everybody has done. Your title page has the title and the author, which is you. Everybody's done with that. Um, a page with their birth date, where they were born, and a map showing that place. I think I've seen everybody in this room um, seen that page. So I think everyone's done with that one, but I will check. I've been marking it as I go. The next um, one of the two of these you needed, either something about family, so it could have been their parents and their siblings, or it could have been um, their spouse and their children, depending upon um, what you could find, or just something about them before they were famous. So those two, one of the two you need to have. All right, and most of you already have that. When they were an adult, why were they famous? What were they famous for? That should be a page with an illustration, because it's a picture book, so illustrations are on all these. Um, are they still alive or not? So the details on that would be an, another page, and then your references should be done, your reference page, with the link to the site where you got your information. We are going to add in, I'm going to show you how to add in this page right now. Put your hands down, please. So the Wax Museum slide, word art, and image is what you're going to see right now. That would be the last page you will need to add in, and then we can move it to where we need it in the book. So Google Slides, how do we open Google Slides to, to start just a new slide? Jordan? You go to the waffle. Okay. Waffle. And... It's the yellow folder thing above the meat. So oh, you could just click Google Slides. I'm going to click on Google Drive because I want it, my drive organized and I want it to just go straight into my fourth grade folder instead of having to drag it into my folder later. I'm going to go ahead and open Drive, but you could get to Slides that way. And if I start here and open my fourth grade folder, which you all have fourth grade folders. If I open that folder first and now I create the slideshow, it's going to be in there. You won't have to drag it into that folder later. So that's up to you. But we do need to keep our Google Drive organized. So now I'm going to have, you can see that it's open. I'm going to say new Google Slides. And right now if I went and had to find the slideshow and I opened my fourth grade folder, it would be in this. All right? I'm just going to make one slide, so I don't need to add anything. This slide right here is going to have an image of me in the Wax Museum. And it's going to have word art. Does anybody know how to enter word art right now in front three? Okay. First thing we need to do is take away those text boxes. Does anyone know how to take away text boxes on a slide? Brooklyn, can you go do that? You think you can do it up there? You can use my keyboard. <laughs> so what are you gonna what are you gonna do? She's gonna hit what do you, Oh. Now move it. There you go. Hmm. Why isn't it going away? Does anybody know? Kylie, do you know why it's not going away? Because you click on a box and then you click on that blue line. All right. Now click, when you have those four arrows, now backspace and see what happens. There you go. Okay. Now the next one, go ahead and take it away. All right. To insert word art, 
I didn't see any hands go up. Word art is kind of like making bubble letters and then they are, each letter is gonna be a shape. So I'm gonna go to insert because when we insert, we put something in a slide. Word art is right here. Does everyone see that? Give me a thumbs up if you see where I'm pointing. Yes, I'm gonna click word art and a box is going to open. And in that box is where I want to type my person's name. Raise your hand if you want to, want to tell me your person's name. Alex, who was your person? Annie Oakley. Pardon me? Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley. All right, I'm going to type that in here. Capitalize their name. Whoops. So first name and last name are both capitalized. I have the name in there, and when I push enter, now I have bubble letters. You fill bubble letters in just like you fill in a shape. So who knows how to fill in a shape with color? Gus, what would you do? All right, you wanna go up and fill it with color? Show everybody what it would look like. No, you can touch the wall if you'd like. Okay. I'll just walk up and touch the wall, hon. Okay. All right, so he is the bucket. Fourth grade. He used the bucket. He chose a color. He filled it in. Now, how would you change the border of a shape? Parker, how would you change a border? Um, you want to do it for us? Okay, and that border is really skinny. Could you make it a little wider? All right, now we have a blue border, green letters. If I moved over one more, whoops, one more, I could put dots or dashes. So it's just like formatting a shape. That is what you are going to do with your word art. Next, you're going to insert your um, Wax Museum character picture. And I have shared through Google Classroom a folder full of pictures. So I'm gonna show you how to access that. Do you remember accessing pictures of you guys in fourth grade? Or when you went third grade, third grade? Okay, the same thing. Once you have your word art on here, you're gonna to go to your Google Classroom. for technology, and you are going to click the link to put those pictures on your shared drive. So I'm going to look for fourth grade technology. Same thing, yeah. So we're going to go to classwork. Fourth graders, give me a thumbs up when you see the word classwork at the top. Click classwork right here. Whoops. I guess I didn't put it in your pictures. Right here at the top it says Wax Museum. If you click on the words Wax Museum, that Google Drive folder will open. You will click on that folder and those pictures are going to open. Now they just went to your shared drive. So these are not on your My Drive right now, they're in your shared folder. You're gonna to have to make a copy of the picture you want to use. You can make a copy of any of the pictures you would like to keep and put on your drive, but the picture that goes in your book needs to be on your drive. So you're gonna look through, whose name did I put? Alex? Let's see if we can find Alex. There she is, Sandy Oakley. See her? Oh, right here. So, Alex, Alex is right here. 
with my mouse, I need to point my cor cursor to Alex's picture. <laughs> I have your attention. If you don't get this copy made, you're not going to be able to put it in your book. I'm pointing at her picture, and I am going to, on your Chromebook, spread your two fingers apart and click so that I can get that menu on that picture. And it will say, make a copy, right down here. Give me a thumbs up if you see, make a copy. I'm going to click that. A copy of that picture just moved to my drive. That's what will happen for you. Now I can go back to my slide. Does anybody know how to insert a picture from your drive into a slideshow? Caitlin, how would you do that? Okay, insert image, drive. All right, if you just made a copy of it, it's going to be under recent right here. All right, because I just did it, it's recent. If later I want to go back and find something that's on my drive that I didn't just put on there, I would click my drive and go find it. Okay, and, and this will be organized just like your drive. If I click my drive, I see all my folders, and I can click right to what I need. So by recent, I'm going to select the picture I want, insert it, and then what you will need to do is make this slide look the way you want it to look in your book. So you may format the slide, you may format the background. How do we format the background? I don't see the word background here. Jordan, what do I need to do? Come show me. Okay, it's okay. Let's use my keyboard today. What do I need to do to get a background? All right, you now, fourth graders, he clicked on the background. Now he sees the word background. And, oh, I wouldn't choose an image. This is going to look so fun. This is part of your book. Yes, I would choose an image. You don't want an image to distract from your page. All right, Whoa. so I'm going to show you now how to insert this into your book. However, however the slide looks, that's the image that will go in your book. Once it's in your book, you won't be able to change anything that's on the slide part. All right, we're going to download it as an image. That means you're inserting an image just like you inserted other images in your book. So to download it as an image, you're going to go to File. Download. Give me a thumbs up when you see the word download. Daniel, do you see it? Do you see it, Safira? Download. And you want to come over here. Mr. Boyle, would you come to the office, please? Okay. You want to download it as an image. Do you see right here it says image after this? JPEG image. Mm -hmm. I'm going to click on that. It is now downloading. On your Chromebook, you're going to have a folder at the bottom. And some of you have already used this because we needed to download images from Google and then insert them in your book. You are going to go there to find it once you open your book. So now we're going to go to our book. Open Book Creator, just like you've done for the last three or four classes. Sign in. Find your book. Well, your book. You only have your book, right? I have everybody's book. All right, I'll go and sit this in my book. Lots of books. Okay, here's my book. All right, we'll make a slide. Where's the Fourth graders, you're not going to have a lot of time. He'll tell you his real name. It is a short class today. It is a
All right, if I click pages, I can go straight to the page I want. You will, if you don't have a blank page for it, you'll just add another page just like you've been doing. Oh, it doesn't want to open that way. So go to the end. If you don't have a blank page, push the plus. Here's your page. You want to import from your files because you downloaded it to a file. You Whoa. want to find that image. I'm going to go to download. Yeah, I've been working on yearbooks. You're seeing yearbook pictures. Okay. It was the last thing I downloaded. It was the last thing I downloaded. So now it's an image. Just like any other image I inserted, I can resize it. I can move it wherever I want. I can insert a text box. I'm going to go back to my example so you can see. My sentence says, this is my portrayal of Simi Ojale in my school's wax museum. All right? I'm stating this isn't really him, right? This is me portraying the character, a complete sentence with a capital at the beginning, punctuation at the end. Okay? Writing grade right there. Are you able to have complete sentences in your book? Your teacher and I are both looking for that. When this page is done and you have all the rest of the pages on the rubric finished, your book will be done. Okay? You will show me it when you get it finished. Now today, you're going to have about 20 minutes to finish up your book. If you don't get finished, next week is the last day to work on it. When you're done, I need to know so I know that you're ready for me to assess the book that you've made. Um, Claire? Um, how do we get the website thing on our... For the reference page? Yeah. I just put, I got my stuff on Google. Yeah, okay. Google is not a reference. You have to have a website. So when you go to Google and get that list, you're clicking into one of those websites. Um, last time we talked about everybody should go be going to the Kansas Historical Site. Oh, right. That was the only one so, we went to. Yeah. It, once you get there... You'll just click up here, Control C to make a copy. Go to your page, Control V to paste. Using those shortcuts that we have on the bulletin board. And that's a reference for you if you forget which keys to push. That will put your link on your reference page. Kaylee. Um, why does it have a picture before she was? And she so she was famous as a child. All right. Nice. So you have a picture of her when? As an adult or when she started writing or? Parker. Um, what if you don't know what your dad went through or on his computer or the website? What if you don't know what? what you went to because my dad searched up the info on the page but I don't know what to use. I know you use Google and then you went to some websites and then find a bunch Your dad of did your research? Well, he told me the research and I wrote it down. Alright, so we can go to Google on your computer and click on a link and see if we can find that information because you need your link needs to be to a website, not just a Google search. Oh. Okay. Caitlin? Well, I looked up the person. It has information and, like, no website and pictures, and that's it. Um, I just copied that. Yeah, I did too. You clicked into a website? No. They had Whenever I put my person's name, it just had pictures of, like, family and, like, so on the Google search page, mm -hmm. so you need to click into a link and find the information that you have in your book. And we can use that for that. Well, you're going to have to. That's what you'll do today. Any other questions? You may walk to your Chromebook. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Drag the reference page after that because it's going to be the very last page of your book. Use your mouse and click and drag it. What do you need? Yes. Now, do you have all the pages? Check the rubric and make sure you have everything included. All right, you're going to go to Password. Wax Museum. You got them all, so you're ready for me to assess this with the river.